Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your attendees and give them the ability to present during your team's meeting. Let's check it out. Okay, so here I am in a Microsoft Teams meeting with my buddy Paul Simon. All right, so in order to manage the attendees of your meeting, first, I'm gonna go up here and click on people to show participants. All right, and we can see here that I am listed as a presenter in this meeting and Paul is an attendee. There's a difference here. We have different roles with different capabilities. So let's say, for example, that we're hearing a lot of noise coming from Paul's microphone, or maybe he has it on and doesn't realize he left his mic on. We can mouse over his name, click on this more menu, and we can disable his microphone. And now we can see there is a slash over his microphone indicating that we have disabled it. Now he will not be able to turn on his microphone and use it during the meeting. However, I can click back on the more menu and I can allow his mic once again. Additionally, let's say for example that Paul left his video camera on and something inappropriate is in the frame and he doesn't realize it. We can also click the more menu next to his name and we can disable his camera. And we'll see the mark here under his profile picture that we have disabled his camera. I can click more menu again and I can allow the camera once again. All right, underneath that, you'll see pin for me. This really comes into play when you have more than two people in your team's meeting. When you pin someone, it's like spotlighting that particular attendee, their video is going to be much larger than the rest of the attendees. And of course, I can go back and unpin anytime I want to. Underneath that, you're gonna see Spotlight for Everyone. This allows the meeting organizer, myself, to spotlight this attendee for everyone in the meeting. So let's say Paul is speaking to the entire audience in the meeting. I can go ahead and spotlight him so that his picture is emphasized, not just for me, but for all of the attendees in the meeting. And then of course, I can click back to stop spotlighting. All right, the last item in the list here is remove from meeting. So let's say somebody crashed your meeting, they somehow got in and joined it, were not invited, you can go ahead and remove them manually from your meeting. Oh, and look at that. I see that Paul has his virtual hand raised. You can see the icon here under his profile picture. We also saw a pop-up and off to the right in the participants list, we can see the virtual hand raised here as well. All right, Paul, you have your hand up. What would you like to do? Oh, you wanna share your screen with us and show us something. Awesome. So first thing I'm gonna do is lower Paul's hand. I'm gonna go over here and mouse over the more menu and I'm going to lower his hand. Now, the next thing I need to do is allow him to share content from his computer. As an attendee, he's unable to do that. So what I can do is come up here to this more menu and I can go to settings and then I can go to meeting options. In here, you're gonna see who can present. Right now, it's set to only me, but I can change this to everyone and save that. And now all of my attendees will be able to present. So let's go back to people and we can see here that he's no longer an attendee and he can share his screen. All right, Paul, go ahead and share your screen. What do you wanna show us? Whoa, look at that. You're sharing the Tech Tips with Brian Sensei YouTube channel. 
That's awesome. You know what they say, boom shakalaka. All right, and that is how you manage attendees during your Microsoft Teams meeting. If you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.